So what is quantum mechanics? Well, it's a theory of the physical laws of nature that uh, seems to govern the way small things work. We're trying to harness quantum mechanics to do some new things, especially in the context of information technology. We're the threshold of being able to take information that is uh, at ultra low temperatures encoded in the state of some little electrical circuit. It has this fragile but amazing kind of quantum nature. And we're gonna take that uh, and map it onto a propagating light field. And once we can do that, we'll have one of the major components for the construction of a communication network like the internet, but one where the security of that network would be guaranteed by physical laws of nature, not based on some trust. My name is Cindy Regal. I'm Conrad Lehnert. I'm a Jillo Fellow and an Associate Professor of Physics at CU Boulder. I am a Jilla Fellow, an Adjoint Professor of Physics at the University of Colorado, and a NIST physicist. When people talk about quantum machines these days, they're often referring to controlling the microscopic world. And this has taken people on some exciting journeys. We learn to take little mechanically vibrating structures, uh, things which usually don't require a quantum mechanical description, and learn to coax them into a regime where they did require a quantum mechanical description. This is a little chip. It's made of silicon, actually. And there's a little bit in the center of it that you probably can't see, but right in the center of there is sort of the heart of these machines. That little piece of material is what vibrates and makes the heart of our machine. The way that we can transport quantum information is through light passing through little fibers. The light going in and out of fibers and the ultra-low uh, temperature devices that process and store quantum information, they are technologically incompatible. Uh, they just don't play well together. So what we've been doing is learning uh, to overcome that technological incompatibility to make the ultra-low temperature world of superconducting uh, electrical circuits which process and store quantum information, to make that exchange information with light uh, that can go long distances uh, without losing any information. Quantum information technology has become something that people are have been dreaming of for a while, and now the dreams are becoming maybe closer to reality. Mm -hmm.